Welcome back. So back out camping at China Flat Campground. I was here like two, three weeks before Tahoe Rim Trail 100. And I took a run. I wanted to do big miles that weekend, just like every weekend. I think I was in the books for like 20 or 30 or 30, 40 miles, something like that. <laughs> I think I got in like seven. Um, and I remember feeling absolute, just crushing self-doubt. And I left the family and they had a little fire to roast some marshmallows and I, I took off down the road out by the campsite. And um, it just goes in through forest country, through uh, goes in through the national forest. And there I was like five miles in and the suns were setting and it was just this gorgeous pink, just cotton candy sky. And I remember having this feeling of just absolute happiness and bliss and, and reassurance that I was gonna do okay in the race. It was one of those moments where you kind of realize that you'll be okay and because your head and your heart are full and happy and you're rested, you'll make it. So I am now three weeks away from the Tahoe 200 uh, and I'm in the same boat where I was supposed to be doing big things. My miles have suffered because I'm uh, working, I got family problems, I got life problems, I got 99 problems, but a long run ain't one. So let's go get a few miles in and then We'll see what we do tomorrow. Moon is out. The road is long. Let's get to it. On the road, but always, always take a good trail when you see one. No idea where it leads. There was someone in a tent. It's a campsite. Oh shit, I just puked up some of my dinner. Oh god, ugh. Oh god. I, um, oh, I was running in this like little tiny gnat or bug, like a smallest little thing in the world just drifted in and just perched itself on my uvula. And I puked and I had like hamburger hanging out of my mouth, it was gross. All right, let's keep running. I'm gonna go up this way. I don't know what's up here. Let's go explore. Oh yeah, that one's all just road down there. Around that one. So we do this. Built this um, the road. That's cool. Right. Oh yeah. up here, taking off like 5,000 feet or something. Right Let's see. Little bats, being all cute. Hey bats. Oh man. I don't even think my camera's doing this sunset justice. You gotta be here to see it. What I love about uh, I don't know, trail running, right? You get these intimate moments between just you know the raw universe and and yourself. And sometimes you share it with amazing friends, and sometimes you get them yourself, just to yourself. And even you know, I think there's some truth even if you're you know even with you're with friends or in the middle of a race, and there's people all around. It's still a very kind of I guess spiritual is the closest word I can find. Uh, yeah, it's really when you get to kind of dig deep and solve your problems. It's, you don't have anything else to do but solve problems. Alright, let's keep grinding. The moon's looking pretty. Oh, and I got this bat. This big fat bat has just been hanging out with me for like the last mile. Just hanging out with me. It's nice. Hey, guy! I feel so bad. I just yelled at my little buddy but I mean he came like he came like right here like I thought he was gonna slap me in the face and I, I yelled because he surprised me I feel bad sorry Mr. Bat Mrs. Bat you come back and play it's a friend on four wheels 
What is this, the Rubicon? Oh, hey, Bat. You know. All right. You know, for the record, I'm doing like 800 miles down that wicked steep dirt road that I came up in the beginning. I mean, it's steep. And I am tearing it up. These sandals are amazing. Guy. What's up, guy? You're huge.